often get asked, what is a Python file? That's what I'm about to show you. This is what one looks like from the outside. This is the printed version. However, you can also comes in an unprinted version, and we've got a, a range of colors. So this is the manila color, but you've got some blues and yellows that we can use as well. With the printed version, you can see it has a block down here, so you can put the details of what's filed in here, as well as you can put it on the spy. So that makes it very easy to locate in a bookcase or in a filing cabinet if they're putting that way. Okay. But the beauty of the Python file is actually how you use it and how you load paper and actually use the paper once it's loaded. Let me just open it for you and show you. This interior, we said we've got two clips. This side here holds the paper in. This side here, it's got a couple of little pins on it that helps you actually move the paper from one side to the other. Now we'll, we'll see what's actually in the contents. And I'll show you actually what that means. I'll just show you how to load it first. We just take these springs off. That comes out. Here's some paper. By the way, this is just standard two-hole punch paper. That's all you need. Uh, you don't need any fancy or, or unique hole punching processes. And we just file by clipping that back in, the springs into there. As you can see, the pages are held quite firmly. When it comes time to look at the contents, all we do is unclip it. And in these pins here, we just stick the spring onto the pin like that. As you can see, it sort of makes it like two rings. We can then easily turn the pages. And then we can clip them back when you finish. Put the clip back into place, just like that. Take them off the pins. Put it in, filed, ready 